Hey everybody, so today we're going to talk about how to get Kickstar followers using Facebook ads. This is a really powerful strategy because Kickstar followers convert at a rate of 20 to 30 times higher than email leads into actual sales on your live Kickstar campaign. They almost cost just as cheap as the email leads as well. So this is part of a three-stage testing framework. Uh, the first stage, as mentioned, is using these Kickstar follower ads to get Kickstar followers. These followers, of course, um, they boost your ranking on the upcoming projects on Kickstarter. And it's also used as a signal uh, for the Kickstar editors for the Projects We Love badge, if you want to get that, that badge within the first day or two of launching. Secondly, on the second stage, which we're going to get into in another video, is where it leads into a landing page of Facebook ads, which uh, presents them with a survey. Inside this survey, they can give information about um, you know, what reward tiers and add-ons they'd like to see, what price they're expecting, and uh, what their impression of so far is of your project. On the third stage, we're gonna use that information from that survey to craft a special VIP discount or exclusive VIP add-on. So, the um let's hop right into it here and go to facebook ad manager to get here go to adsmanager.facebook.com and that will bring you to the ad manager if you don't see this dashboard this screen here move your mouse to the far left and uh, press the campaigns tab right here now, once you are here, press the green create button in the top left corner. Now press and select leads. Press the blue continue button. And we're going to call this campaign pre-launch dash KS followers. Press the blue next button in the bottom right corner. And now we're in the ad set. So ad set is uh, basically a collection of ads. And uh, inside the ad set, you define the settings for uh, the, the audience and the budget. So uh, we're going to name this one USA slap dash uh, KS for Kickstarter. So this is going to be our most basic audience where we just target Kickstarter followers. Uh, for the conversion location, press website. Make sure your pixel is selected here under pixel, and then under conversion event, I need you to select lead. Scroll down further, and we're gonna get into the budget. $20 a day is a pretty good start, but you could go as low as 10 or 15 if you prefer. Uh, I don't recommend going below 10. So scrolling down further, you'll see where it says audience controls. If you're international, it will probably say your country, so I need you to edit this and then uh, stick in there, United States. Okay, you're done there. Now it says Advantage Plus Audience. What Advantage Plus Audience means is that um, it's using the AI algorithm to find the right people. It's going to expand beyond any interests that you feed it and tell it to do. So during this stage, this sensitive stage, uh, where we don't know, we're not getting direct response on whether or not these people are buying, like, you know, a live store environment. Uh, they're merely leads. And so we really want to make sure that they are the highest quality leads possible. To do that, we need to turn off Advantage Plus. Uh, so let's switch to the original audience options here. Press Use Original Audience. Now we're back to the original here. Where it says detailed targeting, we're not going to change the age or gender. Where it says detailed targeting, I need you to just put in Kickstarter because that's uh, what we call this audience, USA-Kickstarter at the top, right? Okay, we're done here. Press next, the blue next bottom button in the bottom right. Now it, we're defining the ad. Now we're moving on to the ad. So we're going to name this, uh, I like to separate by image and video. So I'm going to call this image dash uh, desk because this client, we have two images. Make sure the correct Facebook page is selected and Instagram page. If you don't have an Instagram account, just let it go. 
Uh, make sure it says uh, manual upload, single image or video. In this case, we're just uh, going to be testing a single image. So we're going to scroll down to add creative. I'm going to press add media, then add image. Uh, I already have this image right here. Press next. And uh, these croppings are all fine. I'll press next again. Press done. Now for music, uh, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to uncheck that. I, I don't prefer music uh, overriding my videos, but that's my personal choice. If you want to try it, go ahead. So now with the uh, now that we're getting into the text here, you'll see where it says primary text, the headline description for the description. I use the product category. So in this case, it would be office supplies. Uh, and then the headline, we're going to use some very specific uh, language here for Kickstar follower ads. So if you go to the add an audience templates, uh, we scroll down here and we go into headline templates. You'll see this little section here. It says goal Kickstar followers. So I'm going to copy these right over and just plop them right in. Uh, add a headline option to add a second one here. So now we have two variations. Now, for the primary text, however, uh, the way I'm going to approach this is I'm going to take the hook or blurb summary of the product and then attach additional messaging saying, hey, sign up now, the call to action. So <clears throat> for this client, uh, we have a product pitch document. You can find a similar pitch in my Kickstarter worksheet, the quick start guide, and any another of number of places on my website and uh, in my products that I sell, the templates. Uh, so we're going to start here with the, um, okay, we're going to try the hook and I want to try the, the blurb. Uh, let's, let's just go with the blurb. Okay, but I want to add some special language on the end here. So once again, I'm going to go to the uh, add text templates here, which is the primary text. Once again, I have a section for Kickstarter followers. So uh, we're going to copy and paste this extra text here. Uh, see where it says be among the first to grab a 38% discount or secure your exclusive 38% discount today. Uh, we're going to add that to the end of the blurb. So I'm going to copy that over. And then I'm going to do a variation where I use this other variation right here and add that to the end instead. OK, so uh, their discount, I believe, is a 40 percent discount. So let's update that text right there. Uh, and now I need the website URL. So I'm going to copy this over and paste that in here. OK, and uh, for the display link, I'm just going to do kickstar.com slash upcoming. OK, and now this ad is pretty much done. You'll see here under tracking that it's uh, assigned the pixel or data set that we used. Uh, make sure that you have this data set and pixel set up properly to track Kickstarter followers. If you don't have it set up already, check the description below this video. I have a link to another step-by-step -step tutorial that'll teach you how to set up your Facebook accounts, uh, set up your Kickstarter project and get it approved, and then set up the follower tracking so your Facebook ads can optimize for Facebook followers and find a lot more of them cheaper. Okay, now that we have this ad all set up and done, we're gonna copy this ad by pressing the dot 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 next to the, the ad in the navigation tree here. And we're going to press quickly duplicate. OK, so uh, this one is going to be a video. So I'm going to call it that video dash um, carousel. Because uh, we're going to do a carousel ad. So uh, once again, make sure the page is selected, blah, blah, blah. Everything's good here. Uh, and what I'm going to press here instead under format is the carousel option. And now I'm going to press uh, add a video card. Once that video is done uploading, select it, press continue. And then uh, for this headline, we're going to call it a uh, never lose another journal. 
Uh, that was uh, one of our alternate um, subtitles, like, you know, why use the product? And we're going to do that for all the, uh, the cards. Um, okay, so now that each card has a video or image and a headline and the website URL is correct, uh, we're, we're done there. We're going to scroll down and uh, number one, I want to remove music. I'm going to leave the end card on this one, but you, you can decide what you want to do there. Uh, and whether or not you want to automatically show the best performing card first, that's up to you once again. Okay, so now the uh, primary text, I could try the, uh, the hook. Let's try that one on this one. Okay, so going back to the carousel, uh, we're going to leave the call to action as learn more. Um, and once again, display link as kickstart.com upcoming, verify the pixels there. Okay, we're all good to go. All right, so now all our ads are set up. Uh, the next step, of course, is to create your audiences, the, the additional audiences. Right now, we only have one ad set here uh, that I just clicked on called USA.-KS. Uh, we want to test more than that, so I'm going to press the dot 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 in the navigation tree and uh, quickly duplicate this. In this one, I'm going to call Patagonia, and we're going to target Patagonia. And then press Define Further and Kickstart. Okay, now this is all set up. That's all I need to do there as well. Um, and then I'm going to duplicate this once again. And we're going to do another audience. And this one uh, we're going to call uh, Tech Pubs for tech publications. So here's another trick I'm going to teach you. After deleting those, uh, we're going to go back into the add an audience templates and start looking at the audience templates. Uh, when we look over here, you're going to see a tech publication qualifier. So these uh, tech publications, uh, or various qualifiers here actually, have a high concentration of Kickstar users, and they're able to be used equivalently as such to help locate them. So I'm going to copy those uh, tech publications and drop them right in. That's all we need to do. All right, so once again, I'm going to quickly duplicate that. And this one's going to be called Tech Celebrities. Uh, and once again, it's the, the same deal. Uh, so let's uh, remove all these and then stick in uh, Tech Magnets or Tech Celebs. OK. And I believe that's all the audiences we want to test. And so what I want to do one last time is take a look at these budgets. Uh, for this client, let's uh, drop this down to $15 a day each. All right, and then press Review and Publish in the top right corner. And uh, that's all there is to it. Hey, so one last thing. Uh, after publishing these ads, they're going to run, and then you want to run them for about two to three days. After two to three days, you can, you'd have enough data to make some judgment calls. The main thing that you want to look at is the results column here, where it says the number of leads that you have, and then the, the cost per result over here. Uh, you can get more detailed information if you press the columns drop down, and then performance and clicks. And then if you scroll to the right here, you'll see uh, the cost per link click and the cost per impression and things like that. Uh, you want the cost per link click to be under 50 cents. If it's over 50 cents, you probably want to look into how to improve your ads. And in most cases, that is going to be through testing different images and videos. Uh, you could also try different headlines as well. The small text has very little impact. So. Uh, say you want to create new ads, but what you want to do is go into your ad set uh, over here, and then you'll see the ads. Here you can see the, the image and video ads we just created. So what you would want to do next is to select an ad and then uh, quick duplicate it. And that's going to create another right there. Okay, and then you can go in and, and edit it. 
and uh, change the, the image as desired by pressing the trash can there, whichever. Now, in some certain rare instances, uh, Facebook will, its algorithm won't spend on an ad. Uh, there's hidden metrics involved, such as whether or not people even stop to look at the ad or they click on it uh, or how much they watch, uh, etc. Uh, and so in that case, uh, you can, in, in most cases, it's correct. It makes the right judgment not to spam the ad. However, in a small amount of cases, you might want to force it to, to give it a fair test. And to do that, you would uh, basically press the A-B test button here while selecting an ad set or a campaign. And then it will duplicate this campaign. You can see, make a copy of this ad, press next. And then you select uh, a variable test. It's gonna be custom, uh, press next. And then set the cost per result to be website leads as the key metric. And then make sure to check off end test early if winner's found. So this way it doesn't shut off automatically on you. And you can set off the end date like a month away from now and then uh, duplicate the ad set. And then in this new duplicate ad set, you're gonna change the ads to your new ones and turn off the old ads. And so this way you can force Facebook to spend on the other ads without causing audience overlap by running multiple ad sets uh, to, the, to the same audiences, uh, which will make your results worse, of course. So the A-B test button prevents that from happening. It's the safest option you can use. In any case, well, I guess that about wraps it up. I hope that you learned something and that this helps you. If you need further assistance, feel free. Uh, you're encouraged to actually reach out to me on my website, prelaunch.marketing, where I'll be happy to help you. I can give you a, a free strategy call and uh, we can discuss further about how to, to help you. And I can help you troubleshoot during that call as well if you're having issues. So um, I hope you have a wonderful day. And thank you for watching. Take care.